Hi, Bernard. Hi, Carsten. What, what do we do in this video? Yes, uh, we said it multiple times uh, that we require some routing um, between the networking. So let's go to the overview slide. And um, we have a router in between for this one. So it's your central firewall, I think. Um, so you do have a default gateway on your on either management network. So for the you know for the 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 that goes to some firewall and that you know is your router so that you can ping the management network from the odd side to the even side. Right. That's a good start, but that's not all, right? We need to have some additional routes, uh, but they need to be more specific, right? So we don't want to go via the central firewall. We want to have your high performant top switches, you know, doing the routing for the uh, replication traffic. Uh, but first of all, let's do a simple test just to see, you know, what happens if we live migrate a virtual machine from one node to the other. And that's what you wanted to do. and. So therefore, so I will take, do it. Take us away. Uh, <laughs> take you yeah. away. So you mentioned I have mm -hmm. prepared some PowerShell yeah. oh, uh, lines lovely. here. First, we see the routes, and we mm -hmm. only have one route. That is the default route, and it's going over the management interface, 99. Mm -hmm. OK? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I prepared get VM, a small virtual machine. It has four gigabytes. Yeah. Yeah. There is no operating system installed. That's mm -hmm. always my first test. And if you want yeah. to know more, we have this great Azure Stack HCI inst installation series. So I will move this VM mm -hmm. from the first node to the yeah. second node. And the second mm -hmm. node is on the even side. And the yeah. first node Odd to even, even, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So I prepared that. Here we have move VM. Get it. Uh, the big VM to the second node, uh, mm -hmm. and it should be stored on the C drive. So it will start, okay. and we switch over here to mm -hmm. Task Manager. And we see here on the management interface, we see 920 right. uh, megabits, so one gigabit roughly. And the other interfaces are doing mm -hmm. nothing because how, he can't move traffic over those interfaces because he doesn't know how to get there. So, so you have enabled live bit. migration on the cluster uh, on we don't have a cluster yet, but on yep. the hypervisors. Uh, what what have we been chosen? SMB for live migration. I've I've chosen SMB mm. SMB for live for the live migration protocol, right. uh, and I also tested it. So um, okay. it's doing now SMB three over the one gigabit interface, and it, this okay. takes a bit because yes, one gigabit per second eight for a gigabyte, four gigabytes, mm. it takes some time. So now it's here, yeah. and I and move it's it not just the biggest, back. It's not the yeah. biggest machine, right? So it's only four, it's four gigabyte, yeah. right? In... And now you see it's coming back on this interface. Mm -hmm. So now okay. we um, add our routes. Should we go back to your slide? Uh, yeah, um, switch, please switch over. So, you know, we have seen that uh, the virtual machines traffic has, was, you know, via this direction and whatever yeah. this speed is is defining how fast the live migration works but we do have and remember we do have more performant hardware on that server and we also do have a better network in between um so therefore let's use or let's set up the routing and that's what we do we need to have multiple routes or and specific ones we are so we are not forwarding it to the firewall for eating everything right uh, and figuring out where the other stuff is so you are more specific right so you say hey uh, there is a router on each network that will take the specific path for the individual network so that mm -hmm. we have individual routing yeah. um, when we when we show the switch structure mm -hmm. in a later video uh, yeah. we will see the 100 gigabit switches are configured as ip routers so yeah. uh, they have ip addresses in the same network uh, in, in every replica and cluster network and we use those as routers to the other side mm -hmm. okay so uh, should we do that yeah, let's do it um, and switch over to your system. So I prepared a little PowerShell for that. So you, you 
create stretch routing. You see it here. Mm -hmm. So first we need some constants, which are the names of the adapters. These mm -hmm. are the names, how the virtual adapters are named. And these are the physical adapter names. Yeah, you know, uh, when we do get net adapter, we get this V Ethernet and then mm. uh, then the name. And if we address the VM network adapter, we have to use other names. It's a mm. bit weird, but it is that way. So Sometimes I will just bit inconsistent. Yes. So yeah. yeah okay. So I will Great. just set set these variables, and then mm. again, um, I run the script on the first node. So we have to implement routes for example from the cluster network first we have to to figure out where is the node so we are in yep. the odd side so mm -hmm. we we have a network adapter that is part of this network mm -hmm. and it has to get a route to the 110 network so 111 mm -hmm. to 110 113 mm -hmm. to 112 so okay. we just prepare our cluster networks and replica yeah. networks for the mm -hmm. different side mm -hmm. because this script can run on all nodes copy so let's do it so and now this is um this is one these two lines are remove a route if it's there if we do something mm. wrong and believe me with routing you can do a lot of wrong and then <laughs> yeah. implement the new net route so uh -huh. we have seen in the video before there were no routes mm -hmm. let's do it again yeah, if we do it only our default route and then yeah. now let's do all the routes for or, or let's do the replica routes mm -hmm. yeah and then we'll check it because it's a little bit too much to digest for the yeah. folks i think so we right. we set two routes for the, for both subnets so you see mm -hmm. here something the but let's let's do this again so now you see we have our mm -hmm. default route and we have mm -hmm. two additional routes, yeah? So the target is the network in the even part, the 108, 0, mm -hmm. and uh, the 106, 0. This is, a, this is a subnet we want to, to mm -hmm. route packets to. All and right. we have, we are in the odd network, so the 107 network should, uh, should be able to send the packets to 106. And the mm -hmm. 109 to 108 and on your visualization so, yes yeah, so maybe we go back to your to your picture yeah. yes so uh, we can't do a split screen here i would say but uh, you know i think you know we what we are trying to do is to hook up the replica network odd to the replica network even on the other side right so this is uh let's just the one odd the... to the one even and the right too odd to the too even. Right. That's exactly what we are doing. Yes. And wherever we are, I mean, the routes need to switch, right? So uh, it's depending on who is the next hop. And okay. the dot one on each of the network is your router. Router, in. exactly. Yes. So okay. I can go back to my screen. You see here, the next hop is uh, the host has an IP address in the 107. We can right. see that I have another yeah, that's the 51, right? Always the, or the, you are on the first node, so it would be. Yeah, you see 51. here, I, yeah, yeah, it has all the odd subnets, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. and we were in the 109, and in the 107, we have the 51. Mm -hmm. And if we look at the routes, we are here, 109, mm -hmm. 107, and we want to reach this network. Okay. These are not, don't set the default gateway on the adapter. And the host doesn't know which default uh, gateway to use to reach, for example, Azure or the internet. Yeah. Use network routes. So these are network routes, yeah, not default routes. This is the default. And so are we ready to test it yet? So would you be able to ping it? We can try it. So uh, we could uh, ping a node in the 108 network. And I prepared mm -hmm. on the second one. Yeah, yes, just, so. just let me show the routes on the second one because to test it, uh, the other host has to have the routes, right? Otherwise the packets can't, don't come back. Yeah, yeah? That, that's why I would you know, just ping it and see where the trace yeah. route goes to. But, yeah, here you see, yeah. mm -hmm. it's set it here on the second one. So uh, I had to do that to... Uh, mm -hmm. So you did it, okay. Yeah. And so you added the routes to the other nodes, 
but that was not all. I mean, you also needed to do it on the physical switches or on the on the yes. physical devices yes. to do. So this is not exactly. what we, we are not showing this, uh, but we are showing you the effect of this because a switch might be totally looking different on your side because you're using different hardware than Carsten does. Um, we'll show you the switch afterwards uh, and maybe jump into the switch configuration at some point in time. Yep. But, you know, just be aware, not only the nodes need to be have the right routing rules, but also the switches. But you know um, exactly so you see here if i do a trace route to the 108 net the 52 the second node has the 52 in that network you see we go to the 109 one and then we get we reach our destination and the same should be true with the 106 these are the two routes we implemented okay. if i would try the 10 which is the cluster so you see here pick. yeah oh. the 10 yeah. Mm -hmm. it doesn't have a specific route to the cluster network so it sends the packet to the default gateway right and now it sends the packet out to the internet mm -hmm. and will never come back so if we do a ping we we, mm. we we can't get a reply but the trace route shows us the way into the internet mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And this is a private IP address, so, so it shouldn't go out. But mm -hmm. now we will implement the, the two the, the, the two missing routes in the cluster network. Mm -hmm. Copy. Yeah, I do the. I show the routes again, and here we see now we have also the 110 and the 112 mm -hmm. from our so the, network. Yeah. So the previous ping, I mean, if you would have done it from the other, yes, so this one, so this is a cluster network on node number two, and you're trying it to reach from node number one. Let's assume you have done the same thing on node number two or the corresponding thing, um, yep. then that should work, right? Yeah, now we are not going over the 99 one, the default okay. gateway, we are now going uh, over the switch. Yeah? Okay. And the same is true for the other network. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now okay. we don't, the packets don't go out to the internet. Now they go. Right. Um, right. So what do we do next, Bernard? I switch back to your presentation, right? Yes. We now have uh, the routes. Yes, we now have the routes. And, you know, you remember we have, um, we want to do the live migration stuff, right? So uh, we two live migration tests. So live migrate from, uh, within the same site, so from node number one to node number three or two to four. And then on test number B, it would be live migrate, would be did before, you know, from the odd to the even or, you know, even to odd. Uh, doesn't matter. And we will watch closely which networks um, will be chosen for yeah. for the uh, for each live migration. So, okay. Uh, I switch again to my presentation and now I'm here in Hyper-V Manager on another mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. and we had only four gigabyte of memory. So this is for a live mm -hmm. migration over SMB3 with very powerful cards. That's really not enough memory. It starts and we can't really watch a lot. So I increase it to 40 gigabyte or should I, mm -hmm. uh, should I do, I, I do 40 gigabyte. Yeah. Okay. So I start mm -hmm. the VM again. Mm -hmm. We go to our host. So if we do get VM, we see now it has 40,000 okay. something megabytes wow. assigned. Yeah. And yeah. My, I do my move again. Where yeah. do we, Where are you moving to? To node number three? No, or, should we do three or two? Yeah, that would be a, our, in, in the in the slide it was, was a, that was the option A, the, our first test. Oh, I can do it to the third one, of course. Uh, so destination host. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And fortunately, I implemented. Uh, I implemented the routing on all other hosts, at, at mm -hmm. least I think. So now we are moving <laughs> yeah, the VM. <laughs> A VM from node one to node three. Yeah. So in the same in the same site. Okay, so yeah. let's see. And it should use. You see here, it doesn't use any network adapter, but it's mm. already done. 
Okay, so it must have been faster. Okay, so it was now it's, it's <laughs> ten times the size. <laughs> yeah, um, so I can move it back. Yeah, yeah. and okay. if we go here, the magic is you don't see any network traffic on an on any adapter. Yeah, I'm suspicious. I would say, well, from the knowledge of the previous video series, I know that RDMA traffic in a rocket configuration doesn't show up in Task Manager, so we'll need to do exactly. Perfmon, right, in order to see it. And I prepared that already. So no. here, what we see in the Perfmon, Perfmon is also not running on the Azure Stack HCI console, so you, you have to use it remotely from another Mm -hmm. uh, server with uh, a GUI installation and here I started that and you see here I'm not looking at the numbers of the machine so it's mm -hmm. our PK WAC machine we will mm -hmm. use that later I'm looking at the numbers of our first node and I okay. added the RDMA adapters but only specific ones yeah these mm -hmm. are the two virtual SMB adapters and Correct. these are the 100 gig. gigabit adapters yeah? okay so if if we now do, I think the machine is here, right? If we now do our live migration, Quick. you see here, oh, we yeah. see RDMA traffic. Yeah? Through the virtual adapters and also on the physical adapters, because the virtual adapters uh, traffic has to go out through the physical. And this was 40 gigabytes. So it's mm -hmm. very fast. Yeah? Even mm -hmm. if we look at RDMA, we should increase the memory again. Yeah? Should I do that? Yeah, I, let's do it um, because it would give us a little bit more time to uh, look at the actual values, to be honest, um, and maybe do a calculation on the links or on the on the live migration speed if we are good. So let's do 200. Yeah. So this is not exactly 200 gigabytes; it's 200,000 megabytes. I will start it again. Yeah, we will go here and start the move. And then we look at our Perfmon and we see here now data is coming in. And uh, here we see inbound frames and inbound bytes. And there's a speci speciality with uh, Perfmon. There's a comma and a point. Comma in US is between one thousandths point is the german comma so if you have something below uh, zero or a fraction of a full number it's a point and the other way it, this was already two uh, roughly 200 megabytes so it's so fun to do live migration over uh, fast adapters with uh, rdma so here we see now it's roughly the outbound bytes it's six gigabytes 6.1 gigabyte on this adapter and now it's seven seven, so it's it's going a bit around seven nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so it's done already. So okay. that's approximately, I would say, fifty gigabit, right? Sort yeah. of ish, if I calculated it up per adapter. Yes. Yes. Okay. And we oh. can get we can get up to one hundred thirty gigabit gigabit in total on both adapters. We don't reach two hundred gigabit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a hardware thing here. So, but this okay. was one, two, where is the machine three? Now? So, intra, that was intra site, right? So, I have um, to move it back. No, I have to move mm -hmm. it back, but it's very fast. So, when we have it on the first one again, we go back to your slides, Bernard, right? Or should I, or should I do another test? Well, no, you should do the other test and we'll do the summary afterwards, right? So we did okay. that one, right? So uh, that's, so that's now from we odd did. to even, right? Right, now from odd to even, correct. Okay, this, this is even more, more surprising. So mm -hmm. from odd to even, mm -hmm. yeah, we can't use the SMB adapters, uh, those here. So we can't use RDMA. We disabled RDMA for all other adapters. So now let's see what's happening if we move not to the third node, mm -hmm. we move it to the second one. Correct. Okay, should I fire it up? Yes. So it will be also not too slow. Mm -hmm. And you see here, this right. is this is not really traffic, it's kilobit. Then we have yes. 20 gigabits here, yes. 21 gigabits here, yeah. 20 gigabits here. 20 yeah. gigabits here, wow. zero and zero on the SMB adapters. Okay, so we are using all the routed networks now. We are using four routed networks, right? And uh, SMB multi-channel 
a really Absolutely. great feature in SMB3, uses all four of them. And I can move right. it back so that we see it again. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not on the third one. It's now on the second one, right? There we yeah. are. So go back here. Now we should see the incoming traffic on the receiving side, right? So here, 23, 22, 24. It's even faster. <laughs> So this is roughly also 100 gigabit, a little bit less, but mm. let, let's say 80 yeah. to 100 gigabit. Yeah? yeah, but I mean, from a performance perspective, hey, I would say cool. Um, but from a, uh, and we also, you know, sort of uh, tested uh, with this uh, a bit your, your switching infrastructure. So yeah. good switches, I would say. But <laughs> I, you know, if we go back to the slides, I see, you know, we have, traffic passing over the replication adapters right for live migration and that's maybe not something that we want right because you said uh, we can only use or should ideally only use replica adapters or replica traffic for replica or other replica network for replica traffic and nothing okay. else no live it's migration right so, so live how... migration is all, also only an example. It will only yeah. also do the redirected I/O if we have mm. those, and also mm -hmm. cluster traffic and also heartbeat. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, okay. but heartbeat is not SMB3, but mm -hmm. SMB3 traffic will be there, and heartbeat also for heartbeat we have to do something else. So what what do we do, Bernard? Okay, so yeah, we need to come up with you know something in order to. Um, uh, to restrict the live migration traffic, which is using SMB, um, to the um, to the individual uh, networks or adapters, right? Um, and um, the first thing that we'll do is we add an SMB multi-channel constraint in order to shape the traffic flow a bit, and that's and then we'll repeat the test again after mm -hmm. we did this. Okay. And what's important? Um, I go to my slide uh, to my host again so we use we we direct the smb traffic so a live migration uses smb3 but the, it, it's also for all other smb traffic we direct it yeah? mm -hmm. um, and for that we have the multi-channel constraints and i prepared a little weird script for that and you have your own yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um we have four nodes yeah we have to say we are node one now and if if we want to go to node three in the same site, mm -hmm. you are allowed to, to use uh, RDMA over the SMB adapters. But if mm -hmm. you go to the other side, so node two and node four, it should mm -hmm. use only the cluster networks, not the mm -hmm. replication network. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I do here a uh, get uh, SMB multi-channel constraint, you see there is nothing. Mm -hmm. So uh, just let the script run, I would say. Or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then do a get SMB multi-channel yeah, constraint again. It's, in order. it's a bit complex to explain. Yeah. Yeah. So now I do my get. My... This is wrong. Yeah, you so should. CLS, get. I should type get. This is live SMB. Okay. Yeah, a lot of SMB multi <laughs> yeah. constraints, yeah. and now we see we have constraints here. What does it mean? We are on host okay. one. Mm -hmm. If we go to host three, host yes. one and host three are in the odd side, so same side. Please yes. use the SMB one and SMB two network. We also set the constraints for the, for the SMB networks. It mm -hmm. would use them anyway because they are using RDMA. But if we would turn off RDMA on the adapter. It would use all six adapters, and yeah. So mm -hmm. we we say specifically use SMB one and SMB two if you are in the same side. If yep. we go to the even side two here, use class the cluster networks, and also mm -hmm. for node four. And mm -hmm. now I have to do the same. Yes. The same on the second node. But you also need to do it, you know, logically correct, right? So. Of course, there's the script for, and you see it here. If the second mm. node goes, yeah, let's let's see, get SMB multi channel constraints four four one one three three. So um, correct. Four two and four on the same side. Use SMB mm. one, 
two and one and two and three are not in the same site, use the cluster network. Correct. Okay, we did it now. Mm -hmm. Where's our VM? Is it here? <laughs> you can see that know. on the memory. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 210 okay. megabytes. Yeah. So let's move. Mm -hmm. Let's be lazy. Let's copy. Let's copy the, this this line and change the host. Of course, the host name would be two. Yeah, mm -hmm. we want to go from one to one two, side. so intra site from the no to the... inter site, not intra inter site. Yes, that would be one. to the third one, right? You are no a one node one to node two is across two sites. So I thought that was inter or intra. Doesn't matter. We want to go from e odd to even. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Kick, kick so it off. I will do that. Yes. Let's have a look here and at our adapters. Live migration starts. Ah. And you see here, we have 32 gigabit on the two virtual adapters. So now it's but only, only on the cluster five. network. Only on the cluster network, and the replica networks are no longer being used for yeah. the live migration. Right. Exactly. So it's a little bit slow in the moment. Yeah, but it's still 35, 30 something um, gigabit. And mm -hmm. it's done. So if we mm -hmm. move the VM back, here the constraints are also. Uh, uh -huh. No. Move it to one. We can take this one. Mm -hmm. if you look here. It should also come in in cluster one and cluster two because we also set the constraints on the other side. And there we are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So cool. Then, if you could switch back to my screen, we'll do the summary. Already which is... done. So okay. share your... Yes, which so is this, share. right? So if we do the live migration of a virtual machine within the same site, it will use the SMB adapters now. And if we do it from an odd to the even site or even to odd, uh, it will use the cluster uh, cluster adapters, right? Okay and no longer the replication adapters, which is what we wanted to do. All right, okay, so that's, I think, the conclusion of the routing video, right? And um, it we is. need to do some more and um, look a little bit at the switching infrastructure. We will, okay, see you soon.